hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while but all that just for later so today i'm going to be showing you a very simple method of making corsets with your bra cup so yeah i have my paper i'm going to be using it to draft the pattern it's a very simple pattern that you don't necessarily need to draft on a paper but because of the kind of fabric i'm working with is why i will first have to um draft it on a paper so i'll be using this paper for the pattern my tape rule my curve my pen and my ruler and then a very important ingredient which is your bra cups so i wanted to show you what i have done the person i'm sewing for is bust size 40 but i went ahead to buy bust bra cup 42 if you can see it you can see it's size 42 so what you do is that whenever you want to want you want to sew a corset you buy or anytime you want to use a bra cup for a dress buy a cup ayah so you buy a size ayah for the person so what i did is to hold it hold that at the down part and at the up part so that it can come out more sharper or more curvy i don't know how to explain this compared to this you can see this is sort of flat but this one is coming out well or like this one is kind of flat so this is a very important step if you want your um if you want your corset to pop out well then you should hold that on your bra cups okay so i've gone ahead to draw our basic bodies so this is our chest line that's where your arm hole is this is our bust point line. This is our under bust. And here is our waist. And here is the top length. I'm using this template because the dress, it of course is a gown, but it's going to be a triangular basque cutting. From our real waist, it is four inches. I added four inches extra. Let me confirm. Yes, I added extra four inches for the basque, the triangular shape thing. So the first thing you do is that from a from a center front you measure you mark 0 0.5 inches. Then you pick one of your bra cups. I've added that to to both cups now. And then you place it on the under bust so when you do this you just try to mark around the bra cup Here is the exact position where the bra cup would be, but this may be too low. If your client or if you don't want to expose your cleavage, then you can decide to bring the shape a bit higher. But this is the exact place the bra cup would be when you sew it. So I don't want the cleavage too exposed. So I'm going to bring this cup higher like so. So at this point, you can give it whatever shape you want, however you want it. But for me, I wouldn't want the the cleavage showing. So showing, I would want the cleavage showing. So this is what this is the shape of um, neck neck night I will be settling for. So after you have done that, you measure the bust point. A bust now is forty forty divided by by. 4 is 10, so from here to here, you can see it's 10 inches. Then I added 2 inches sewing allowance. Then for our waist, our waist is 34. 34 divided by 4, that's 8.5. And then I'm going to add um, 2 inches sewing allowance to that. As you can see, there's no need for... I'm not adding any dart. This is going to be a dartless bodice, a dartless corset. 
and it's still going to come out nice. So now from this point, I'm going to draw my triangular backs to this point. So this will give me my A shape and basically that is it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut this right now. So this is my pattern that I've cut out. This this uh, one would have a different fabric from the cup. This I'm just going to use this as a guideline for knowing how wide, um, how wide or how long my cup would be. Though I'm not going to be using this to cut the fabric. You understand what I'm saying by the time I'm um, cutting the other, other part. So for the back for the back panel, I have here my basic bodies. So this is the bust line and here is the waistline. So the back one is not going to have the triangular basque, the shape. It's not going to have, it's just going to be straight. So I've not added zip allowance because I'm going to be using um, lacing. So instead of adding zip allowance, I'm going to be removing two inches from the back. From here, I'll just um, mark about 2.5 inches here and join it to my neckline like so. So this is my back yoke. I'm going to be cutting skin nets for this, um, the mesh. So this is my back panel now. And that's basically is. So I'll be using net for this. So if you want this to have a kind of a V shape, which I think I do, I'm just going to bring it down a little, a little like so. And then this will come up like so. So it, it will just have a slant V shape. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to cut this out for the back. I'm just marking this so that I can know where the zip side is and where the sewing allowance side is. So these are my panels. This is the front, the front yoke. This is the front bodies. That's the, the center front. This is the back, the center back, and my back yoke. So we'll go ahead and. So, this is the material I'll be using for the um, front part, the corset part. So, I've, as you can see, I've attached my front panel to, to this. So, I'm going to be adding 0 0.5 joining allowance to this place. And to the. Um, don't forget to the cup area, you have to add 0 0.5 joining allowance to it. So that, you use the allowance to join it back to your corpse, and I'll be adding up here too. So I'm going to be cutting the mesh. I doubled it because. It's going to be two layers. I'm cutting it on fold because I want to use the, the mesh to line the mesh, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to be adding 0 0.5 inches here also as my joining allowance. And for the back mesh, as you can see, I cut it on fold so that this side will just lie flat 
on my client i won't have to do any joining and then i had a 0.5 inch joining allowance so for each of my panel this is a very simple i just have two panels to cut so for each of this panel, for this panel now i'll be using st i mean sorry this is paper stay not st but you can also use st you just make sure you use stay for your corset when you're making it to make it look neat and steady so i'll be using this as as the stay then i'll be using my brother satin for the lining